New to Dragon Frame 5 is a new feature that is fun for those of you who like to share your behind the scenes footage of you animating. This tutorial is going to be by myself, Jamie Cleary, and my brother, Diami Cleary. We are the co-creators of Dragon Frame, and we're going to try to do a tutorial together. So we're going to show you how to set up a second camera to be shooting you while you're filming and to do it one frame at a time along with your animation. So Diami, help us out here. I've got a camera on a tripod. It's in the corner. I want that to be my behind the scenes or making of angle but it's not showing up yet in Dragon Frame. So where do we go? What's the starting? So first you're gonna to wanna to go to the scene menu and oh my choose God. cameras. Okay, scene, cameras. And go ahead and click that add camera button. Boom. Uh, we're gonna say yes to add an exposure. Okay, so we wanna add an exposure, nice. And then what is your camera? Is it in the list there? Let's look, it is the 7D. And it's already set up for the capture source. Okay. So this is gonna create uh, another exposure that's full of frames that's going to be exportable as a little movie of me animating. Oh, and look, I can see a little preview of it. Like, there we are. Okay, cool. Okay, what's next? How do I see this angle, make sure it's right? Actually, go to Scene, Exposures. Okay, Scene, Exposures. Okay. And then you're going to want to check Making of over Ooh, there. Ooh, okay, so this is really the differentiator here. All right, so we do, do that. Do you want to name it something special? Um, making of? I'll just do BTS. BTS. Here we go. I'm guessing I'm going to go over into cinematography. Yeah, if you want to set up your exposure levels for the second camera. So okay. The oh, there it is. And it's I can see it's even got its own special color. Okay, so it looks like focus and everything on it is pretty good. I mean, maybe it's a little bright. Go that way with it, possibly. Yeah, that's nice. I'll do a little test shot. Okay, and I can see here that there's a C1 and C2. And that's representing? The camera. Okay, so this is my main camera, and camera two is the is the one I'm looking at right now. So yeah. if I switch here, I can see that that's the, okay. Great. Yeah, and and actually to be clear, you know most people want to do the wide angle for their making of, but you can actually do the same feature from one camera. We'll oh, show I it see. For two cameras. Oh, but. I see. So you could have the same camera that's filming be the one that captures with like your hand in the yeah. shot, like you're animating. Exactly. Oh, okay, cool. But all right, so for this version, we're going to do two cameras. Okay, what's our next move? Well, let's let's say that we're animating, so let's go to the animation workspace. Okay. And in order to trigger that to capture a making of image, you're going to need to probably set up a hotkey. There okay. is a menu item, but it would be slow to do that every time. So okay. go to preferences. Okay, so we're going to drag and frame, preferences. And hotkeys. Okay, hotkeys. And there's a capture making of right there. Right there, okay. Click in the first box and then press probably maybe the star on the keypad. I think you have to double click into the preference. Oh, I see. Go All ahead. right, now it's ready. Okay, so on my remote keypad, I'm gonna hit the star, which is up at the top because that really doesn't do much. Okay, so now I've got a button on my keypad to take this image. Okay, great. Yeah. And get out of there. Okay, This, these are composition guides for both. Right, so but I want to be here when I'm animating. Correct. Okay, so now what do I do? Do I just go right into ready to capture? Um, go into ready to capture. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, and by the way, we already have a camera move set up for this. All right, so now we got a camera move that's gonna track along as I'm animating, and we've got this other stationary camera that's gonna shoot me filming. Yeah. Now this might seem counterintuitive, but you're gonna probably shoot your making of. Um, images before you move things because uh, otherwise you'll lose track of it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to reach in here like this, like I'm animating. Now I know it's going to look different from the other camera. And I'm going to reach over to my to that star and I'm going to hit that. Okay. Okay, so it got it. Now I could have taken my hand off the keypad there. Okay. Why don't you try it again because you can actually update it. So that's going to be your making of image for frame one. But if you want to do it again, go ahead and press it again. And this time... Oh, really? It'll write right over it? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. And then it, you can see it gives you a countdown on the screen. Oh, that's cool. And some beeps, some audible beeps. Nice. So now you've got that as your first one. Okay, so now I'm ready to shoot this as a frame. Yeah. Okay, and just to keep the rhythm going, we animate after that. So I animated a little bit. I'm shooting the shoot button on there. Okay, great. So now I'm about to do my second frame. I reach in. I'm not animating yet. I hit the button. Great. 
Now you animate. Now I animate a little bit, and I guess I need to see what I'm doing here. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, here we go. All right, so we so we would just continue to do this process of reaching in, shoot, hitting that button on the um. Okay. All right, so that's one way of doing it with the keystroke, but there is another cooler way. Diami, what is it? Well, you can do motion detection, so you don't have to bother pressing the key what? every time. Magic? It is kind of magical. Uh, open the program's preferences. Okay, there we go. And back to the preferences. And right in general there at the bottom is capture making of. Great. It says with motion detection. Using yeah. motion detection to do it. Yeah, okay. this is going to use any motion in front of your main camera to trigger the making of okay. on the other camera. So right now, as I reach in, it's going to do it. It's going to do it. It's going to switch to the other camera, give you the countdown. You can Is smile. it going to make comments to me like you're you're animating really slowly today? It might. Okay, here we go. So I'm posing. Oh, look, there it's happening. The countdown happened. Nice. Okay, so now I actually animate. Shoot the frame. Okay, you can hear that motion control going. I reach in again because I'm really excited. Oh, it's going to do it. And then I move a little bit. I'm not really checking this animation. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. All right, so let me go through this shot and uh, using this, and we'll kind of see what the behind the scenes looks like for that this. That sounds great. All right, here we go. Okay, Diami, I've shot some really sloppy animation uh, on ones just really uh, bad, uh, but I was having fun with the making of thing. So I've got my my animation here. Now, how do I, I want to look at my, my behind the scenes. What's going to happen now? Um, I think if you go to playback menu and choose exposure BTS, Ooh. it'll switch to that. Okay, boom. Okay, so this is going to show me what the second camera got. Okay, here we go. Oh, silliness. Got a little bit of silliness going on. Okay, there it is. And you can even see the motion control going in the background. So there it is. I'm so excited. Where's the uh, send to Instagram button. Is that on here yet? It's coming in the next version, I'm okay, sure. Okay, all right. I'm sure. All right, so that's cool. And I'm able to see those very clearly in the cinematography as a second exposure here. Here's all those frames. They can be exported separately. You can make a movie from them. Right. That's great. Okay, what else do we need to know about the making of and behind the scenes situation? Is that it? I think that's it. I mean, that's pretty cool. So we can do it with the button. We can do it with the detection. Now, I was getting tired of the three seconds waiting because I wanted to get through this. So I went in and changed it to one second okay. after detection. How'd so that work for you? It was really, really fun uh, and probably made the animation all sloppier. But. So there it is. There's the making of with a second camera in Dragon Frame 5.